what is irreducible factor form of an algebraic expression now before discussing that let's have a very quick discussion about prime factor form okay so the prime factor form and the irreducible factor form of an algebraic expression these both are connected now how we have a number 45 uh, and the number 45 we have actually written it in the form of its two fact, uh, factors that is 3 multiplied by 15 3 is a factor of 45 and 15 is a factor of 45 why because 3 times 15 is 45 and 15 times 3 is 45 these both are factors that divide 45 completely that is your remainder will be 0 in the same way this 45 can be written as 5 multiplied by 9 right here it's 3 multiplied by 15 or you can write it as 15 multiplied by 3 that's why 3 and 15 both are factors of 45 in the same way it is 5 times 9 is equal to 45 9 times 5 is also equal to 45 that is 5 and 9 are the factors of 45 okay but what if I further break it down and this is 3 is a prime number okay this multiplication sign if I break this down 15 into 3 multiplied by 5 now you have prime number prime number and another prime number can you further break it down no you cannot let's take this one this is 5 multiplied by 9 it's a prime number 5 okay it's not a prime number but we can break it down into 3 multiplied by 3 right so we have one prime number we have another prime number that is 5 and 3 but notice 3 multiplied by 3 why because we have broken it down in its prime factor form so in this case of 3 multiplied by 15 and 5 multiplied by 9 that is actually we are talking about 45 you can clearly see that it's 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 it's again 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 these both are the same and why because these two are actually same because they are prime factor prime factor form the thing that we have discussed here is actually grade 6 mathematics so prime factor form is this one let's take one more example this is 64 we can write the 64 as 8 multiplied by 8 and we can write the 64 as 4 multiplied by 16 now we can write it in more ways but let's focus on these two 8 multiplied by 8 and 4 multiplied by 16 okay 8 is a factor 4 is a factor 16 is a factor so 8 is not a prime number let's break it down so 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 and this multiplication sign now let's break it down 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 now tell me can you further break it down that is this 2 this 2 this 2 no and why because it's a prime number now 2 is a prime number you cannot further break it down because the factors of 2 is 2 itself and 1 right it's only divisible by a prime number is only divisible by 1 or by that number itself what about this one this is 4 not a prime number so 2 multiplied by 2 this multiplication sign here what's this 16 so 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 multiplied by 2 is 16 now 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 2 multiplied with it by itself 6 times and same thing here these two are exactly the same why these two are exactly the same because this is again these two are again prime factor forms prime factor forms now if you're wondering that the title says the irreducible factor form of algebraic expressions why are we talking about why the hell we are talking about the prime factor form well there is a reason when it comes to algebraic expressions there we do not use the term prime instead of prime we use the term irreducible irreducible factor form 
and why irreducible same reason like here you have a prime number you cannot further break it down in the same way when we'll talk about we'll discuss about algebraic expressions and we'll talk about their factors if that number that algebraic expression has been written in its irreducible factor form you cannot further reduce its uh, factors let's take examples so 5 multiplied by x multiplied by y is an algebraic expression right it's not an equation it's an algebraic expression now i can write this number as 5 multiplied by xy xy means x multiplied by y now tell me are these two factors of this algebraic expression no these are not factors of this uh, this algebraic expression why because this xy this xy can be further broken down into 5 multiplied by x multiplied by y now tell me can you further break it break down this 5 no can you break down this x? No. Can you break down this y? No. So this algebraic expression has three factors, 5, x and y. These are the three factors of algebraic expression 5x and 5xy. And this 5 multiplied by x multiplied by y is actually irreducible factor form. Okay, what about this one? So if someone write, it, uh, write this as 8 multiplied by x squared multiplied by y. So that person says the expression, algebraic expression 8 multiplied by x squared multiplied by y has three factors that are 8 x squared and y. Well, you will say no, you are wrong. Why? Because you will say that, hey, I can still break down this x square and how 8 multiplied by x multiplied by x multiplied by y okay so you'll again say you know what we are still not done why because you will say that we can still break down this even 8 also so you'll say that this 8 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 then this multiplied by x multiplied by x multiplied by y right now this uh, this is irreducible factor form. So someone asks you that what are the factors of this expression 8x squared y? You will say 2, 2, 2, x, x and y. These are the factors and this is actually irreducible factor, irreducible factor form. Okay, what about this one 8x squared y squared? So going by this, you will say that 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by x multiplied by x multiplied by y multiplied by y. This is irreducible factor form of this algebraic expression 8x squared y squared. What about this one? So you will say that hey it is 3 multiplied by x multiplied by x plus 2. So this algebraic expression has three factors 3x three and x by x plus 2 3x and x plus 2 this is the irreducible factor form of this algebraic expression similarly this is 10 multiplied by x multiplied by x plus 2 multiplied by y plus 3 it has 1 2 3 and 4 factors 10 x x plus 2 and y plus 3 this is the irreducible factor form of this algebraic expression 10x x plus 2 y plus 3.